This is Innocent Pens Podcast, episode 283 for Wednesday, August 8th, 2018. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Thanks for joining us. Brian is a saint. <sighs> you have to put up with me. <laughs> Dancing. Are you Catching done? Are you just gonna... I'm just gonna dance. I'm just gonna dance. I'm not caught up on sleep yet, so I'm still kind of... Where does the cat go when the cat needs a new tail? Where does the cat go when the cat needs a new tail? Yeah. It goes to the cat tail store. The a retail store. Well, it's not bad. It's, that's that's, the, that's it's when not you bad. Can, I go from good to not bad. Last week's was great. All right, all right. I don't remember what it all was, right. but last week's was really good. I was impressed. Last week was, you know, I used to be addicted to soap, but I'm yeah. clean now. <laughs> You're still laughing. Well, it's I good. think part of the thing that makes it so funny is just picturing the big box of extra soap we, we have. We do have a big box of we extra travel soap. We a lot. <laughs> anyway. Some of the soap is cool. Some of it has a little nubs. All right. So anyway. This is a pen podcast. You know, traveling to go to pen shows is part of pens, so... Well, okay, I'll just sit here. Go. All right, new stuff this week. A lot of new stuff came in. In fact, I'm seeing some of this actually kind of for the first time. I know. Since we were gone. Uh, this one I did see. Coeco All Sport in Red. Uh, it's kind of a matte finish. Um, super nice. Uh, this is like the, the blue, the silver. She's not going to talk. This is my own. This is a gorgeous it's a, color. It's a good-looking pen. It's Steel nib. not a bright fire engine red. It's not brick red. It's not that dark, but it's a really pretty red. It's nice. It's a nice, a nice color addition to the lineup. You know, yes. It, it, right now it's like black and silver and brass, stone that black brass is and pretty cool. stone wash blue. Oh, this blue is a great color. Now we've got a nice color. We got a red. Um, yeah, I like it. And of course, it's great all sport. It's got the little silver. Finial on the top, it looked great. Good stuff. Okay, what else? Next up, to follow up the, the new Essentios in blue and rose aluminum. Uh, now in aluminum black. Yes, brushed sleek barrel. and yep. stealthy. Yep, yep. Um, that brushed, that cool brushed finish. I um, love the section. Still has a standard steel nib. I, 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 I'm. I wonder if they could have used the black nib that they use on the E-Motion. Maybe would have made this maybe a step cooler. And the gunmetal? They all mm -hmm. have, uh, yeah, the gunmetal regular the steel nib, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so um, very cool, stealthy. It's got a little bit, little, little bit of weight to it, uh, but not bad. Yeah, it's a nice size. So three aluminums now. See, Black, rose, and blue. I, I'm a poster. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. But this is too long. They, they should have just not made the pen post because there's nobody on this planet that posts this pen. I, I can't well, you believe it. You know what? It. Just for that, I'm going to post it. I have yet to meet anybody who like, posts the basic. I like basic. the rose, and yeah. I'm just going to post it. Just, just, to, just so you can see it in the office just to see and just to mess with you. Somebody post this? Uh, yeah. If you post this, I'd like to, I'd like to hear yeah. I mean, I'd like it, to see how big your hand is, because you'd have to have a huge hand. You do, you do. Really, really a big hand. Um, but a nice size, I, I do like this. I do like the rose. The blue is really pretty. I love the black. It's very stealthy and sleek. All right, what's next? Ink. Kobe. Ink. New Kobe. Excellent. Six new colors. You know, I have to share that I'm really disappointed. You're disappointed in Well, Kobe? it came after we left, well, yes, so yes. I didn't Actually, have Actually, I it think it came, didn't it came the, come the day we left? The, we left Wednesday night, and it came Thursday. Okay. Yes. So, uh, new is Kobe. I'm not going to pronounce it's these. It's number 18. Number 18 is this gorgeous, gorgeous purple. Pansy. Perhaps. Number 19 is this really cool lime. I'm really mm. getting into lime colors. Getting into lime? Yeah. Okay. Why? Because I like margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need, it's good in Diet Coke? What do you want? I like lime color. Okay. You know, next time we do uh, swap inks, you're getting lime. I'm getting lime. lime. Yes, well. The brightest okay. neon green I can find, just to mess with you. Today's okay. a mess with Brian day. Apparently it is. Uh, number 24 is black. Nakayamate black. 
So. It's kind of a almost a brownish. Yeah, kind of a charcoal. Black. Yeah, it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat color. Yeah, it's definitely got some. I like this next one. Some depth. Well, tea I'm not green. putting this in your pen. Tea green. Number this 34. is a gorgeous color. Number thirty-four. Yes, number thirty-four. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And number fifty. There's a nice, nice all around, almost not aurora blue, but it's you know, it's a nice. It's a nice bright. It's a nice happy blue. Happy? Happy blue. Okay, happy blue. That's the new name, happy blue. And, and then romance gray. How can you have romance gray? What is romantic about gray? She Even she's stumped. Well, she usually no, has a you know, quick. Sometimes gray can be very subdued and discreet, and sometimes, you know, you don't want it all out there. That's what I'm saying. It's a, it's a, decent, it's a decent gray. I don't know. It comes in the same um, thing. Round uh, bottle. Round bottle, 50 mil bottle. Uh, no Inner cone, well. no cone, yeah. Okay. So, the big ink news this week, big ink news. I mean, I not that Kobe isn't big news, but Kobe this is, is big news. This is, this is a once a year, uh, 1798 uh, anniversary, Corneline d'Egypte. Look at that. Oh, Egyptian coral. Yeah. Uh, really, really nice, and it comes in the nice 1798 bottle. Um, I love it. So it's like a kind of like a dark orange. Yeah. Uh, burnt copper almost. Sheens to silver. Um, depending on how much you put down, but it doesn't look like you have to put down that much to really get that to come sheens out. Sheens to silver? No, it does. See yeah, sheens to silver. Yeah. No, it's silver. It's silver, yeah. Which That's is which so is cool. Pretty. Um, put that in your 1.1 or 1.5 stub. Definitely the broader the nib, the better yeah. for the shimmer your, inks. Your Pelican Extra Fine? No. Um, no, gorgeous, gorgeous color. They do such a great do job every year. So, and, and the pa even the box is beautiful. This box is great. I like this. It's just a really classy, it's got the color over the top. Um, Very cool. Always, always happy to get get the new anniversary ink from, from uh, Giovanni. So. That's exciting. You can put that in my pen. I would probably use that. Really? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. You know, I'm just trying to throw you off the scent. No, no, lime green. Something lime green. bright. <sighs> All right, also, we have new Cursive Logic uh, notebooks. Now, we carried uh, the original Cursive Logic, and then um, they revised it. We have that still. And then these are two new ones. Uh, we saw these in St. Louis, and these are fantastic. Cursive level two. Cursive level two. You've got the um, states and presidents. And citizens. Uh, sorry, presidents and citizens. And inside, uh, you've got all your instructions, but each one has, like this is James Buchanan. A little bit of history. A little bit of history, nice. and then a quote um, from each of them. And so this is very cool. And then poems, rhymes, and songs, same thing. Now this looks like this is the bridge to cursive too, so you, this one before the, right. the presidents. Um, but here you've got um, just things to follow, things to copy, um, poems, rhymes and songs. So there was an old man with a beard who said, it is just as I feared, two owls and a hen, four larks and a wren have all built their nests in my beard. Are we doing limericks next week? We can do limericks. They may be funnier. <laughs> and then the usual practice capital letters and you know lowercase mm -hmm. and all that, but um, just really great. Um, one of these days I'd like to sit down and, and like Whip through one of these books. Well, not whip through, but I I would like to improve my handwriting, and this is definitely the way to go. I love the idea that um, the presidents and citizens, like in here, sorry, list of presidents. List of presidents. Yep. Ooh. Right here, page seventy-six. Uh, but there are lessons about the original thirteen states, statehood between certain years. Um, it's it's great, but you've got presidents. Um, there are. Um, Ida B. Wells was a journalist and civil rights leader. Um, Eisenhower, is that? So, um, just lots of cool stuff. Very cool. Right. Really well thought out. You want to get back to pens, don't you? Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do. What else? Because I'm got? a pen guy. So, uh, more diplomat come in has come in. 
Uh, we have the Optimist. Now this pen is, this reminds me of the Pelican. Uh, what was the Pelican? The M120 or something like yeah, that? something like that. Um, that had a similar pattern. They had rings on them. And so this is the Optimist. And they have two different patterns. They have the stripes and the rhombus. What do you bet you have there? I and have the stripes. The stripes yeah. Yeah. yeah, the stripes. So cartridge converter, um, international. I love the clip. Steel nib. These write amazing. These are, these are great these are little amazing. pens. Uh, we had one of these at the, the Yaffa event in, uh, in Chicago. And I was really, really surprised um, how well they, they wrote. They have a secure post on the end of the barrel, so it locks into place. Yep. There's no cap band, so it's really a, a flush. And a sleek look. Yep, yep. You get a little bit of a chrome trim ring right there at the end of the barrel, but otherwise, it's very sleek. Um, it's got a nice Diplomat logo on the top. Yeah, um, they've done a really good job. You know, a nice, nice clip. So these are nice uh, and, and and really inexpensive. Uh, and maybe my favorite is the ballpoint because it's cap actuated. I just love cap actuated ballpoints. Yep. All right, I'll be good. <clears throat> and as promised, the uh, the A2 Skyline, Excellence A2 Skyline in fountain pen. These are um, so pretty. I don't know why they came after the roller balls and ballpoints, but we have them. The red is fantastic. The blue is a great color. Um, I think I like, I, as much as I like blue, I like the red better. I think you can see. You can see the stripes. Yeah. Yeah. So. These are beautiful. Um, a nice weight. You know, I like a smaller, lighter pen. These post really securely. Uh, that's important to me. I hate a pen that feels like every time I'm going to, like, move, the cap's going to flip off. It has a metal barrel, so it's... It's, it's got some weight. It's got some it's weight. It's not too heavy. It's not too big. It, it feels good in the hand, posted. What's not to like? A little snap cap with a nice Snap cap. Clip. you got to love yep. a snap cap. Uh, and following up on that, we have new... Um, Excellence in this really lovely green with gold trim. And this has a little bit of a metallic sheen. And it's got a two-tone steel nib. That's pretty. Yeah, yeah. And these are all the same nib that's on the arrow. Okay. Um, so they're really, really, really nice writing pens. They do have options uh, for 14 karat nibs if you want. Just let us know and we can get it for you. Uh, ballpoint is twist act activated. So it doesn't make the fun noise to annoy me. It doesn't me. make the fun noise to annoy me, that's okay. right. Um, and then it also comes in this really, really nice blue with chrome trim. It's kind of a dusty grayish. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. Grayish blue. It's got this a little bit better spring clip than on the Optimus. It really comes out quite a bit. Um, well, so you fun. can actually grab it from the top, like so, to put and one-handed and put it in your pocket. Especially if it's a suit coat pocket. Yep. Yeah, that's a little, a little bit thicker. thicker. Yeah, so you, this is one-handed. It's really nice. I like that you can grab it from the top. But same idea, black section, steel nib. You can get it uh, uh, single-tone steel. You can get it with a gold nib if you want. Okay. So um, that's that's the new stuff for this week. That's um, enough. There's going to be some, I picked up some stuff in D.C. that we'll maybe talk about next week. But uh, yes. that covers the new stuff for this week. So we have Ask Us Anything. Oh, we do. We do. All right, you ready? Yes. All right. What is Brian's favorite watch? That I own? Well, oh. um, let's see. Um, uh, my favorite watch right now? Um, it's not the one I got him for Christmas. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> um, I, would, I, would have to, I would have to say probably my favorite watch right now is my Seiko with the Arushi dial. Okay. Um, hand painted. Okay. Um, hand painted uh, hands and, and indices. They're all, it's just, it's gorgeous. Okay. So I love a Rushi. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> Question number two. Oh, this is good. How can you maintain the current high standards of your jokes? Who well, ha number who, one. Who asked these questions? <laughs> this is like poking the bear. Yeah. They're, I, I don't know that I would use that phrase, but. Um, yeah, how do you find these really bad jokes? Some, some. You know where I get them? I get them from submissions to jokes at andersonpens.com. That's where I get them. Is that new? You just it, made that up? It, I just did. It can be. <laughs> All right, send it to him. Please, God, somebody send him a good one. Somebody, please. Um, how long have you been doing jokes? I have no idea. You know, I want to say that the 
Clarks in Denver were talking to me about your jokes last year. They probably were. Yeah. So. Has it been almost a year? All right. Okay. Andy, Noah, everybody, <coughs> send in jokes. Um, anyway. Okay. So do you, you... You know what it is? If I laugh, then it's worthy. If I don't laugh, I just kind of... <laughs> okay. I don't know That's you. funny. <laughs> Next question, please. All right. Sailor Pro Gear or Pilot Vanishing Point? Oh, who comes up with this? This sucks. Um, in general, everyday, day-to-day -day use, <coughs> I'm going to go with Pro Gear. Okay. Can I add Slim in there? You can add Slim, yeah. Okay. Excellent. I'm going to go with Pro Gear only because I, I primarily keep my Vanishing Points for... Shows. Shows. In, in instances when I need one-handed operation. Um, and during the day, I do have time to... Although you will you will see me around the office once in a while with the vanishing point. I have a number of them, so it's not like I don't like them. I probably have, I always say I don't collect them, but I probably have a dozen. They so. collect you. <clears throat> they do collect me. Um, that's a tough question. I have a lot of both, and I'm not going to pick. It's like children. Who do you like better? And depends on the day. <laughs> I, I tell you what, if, if, if we can get the, the heavenly bamboo maquille vanishing point, then I'm going to tip the scales to Vanishing Point because that's an amazing, amazing VP. It's only available in Japan. All right, next question on that one. Which of you has more modern <laughs> fountain pens and who has oh, more man. vintage? I'm going to get in trouble. Brian has more vintage, hands down. In fact, I even sold some of mine <clears> this weekend. He wasn't expecting it. He opened up the case and there's my script cert collection and people. Some. They were nice. They were right. nice. So who has more modern? Probably you. Uh, I might. It's it's a high probability that I may have more modern pens. Vintage, I had more vintage pens when oh. you were still collecting vintage. Yes, so. absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So Brian has more of everything. Well, you, you took a hiatus for a while. I did take a hiatus. Yeah. I, I never really have Which stopped since... Since I started collecting in like 98. No, no, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Which is more important to you, ink capacity or ease of cleaning? This one's easy. This one's really, really easy. Ease of cleaning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because. I can refill a pen anytime. Well, or even, e even if you only have two pens, you have another pen. Right. You know, I, I used to, when I was in, when I was in uh, graduate school, I carried a four pen case with me every day. One pen with red ink because I was grading papers, two pens with black ink, and one pencil. So if you ran out of the first three. You had a pencil? I carried a pencil. Really? And it was an Estherbrook $1.50 wow, pencil. Wow, yeah. look at you. So okay. I always have another pen, so. Ease of cleaning, for ease sure. Ease of cleaning, yep, yep. Um, because sometimes he doesn't want to clean my pens and I have to do it. That's not true. That's I not like to true. clean, you're right, I like to clean my you pens. Do. Um, yeah, ease of cleaning. That also, I will confess, um, contributes to which ink I choose. Okay. Well, Why is that? Some are easier to clean. Because if the pen is, is not as easy to clean, you're not you're not going to use yeah, I'm not gonna blue. Oh, never. <laughs> no. All right. Oh, good question. How do you manage your energy at a pen show? Any tips? Um, don't do what we do. <laughs> Uh, I think, honestly, a lot of it, we just run on adrenaline. Um, we try to eat a decent breakfast. Um, yeah, big breakfast. We, we joke that the sign of a good show is how late we eat lunch. If you eat it at all. If you eat it at all. Um, definitely, in all seriousness, stay hydrated. Yeah. Um, drink, drink more water than you think. Yeah, because you're talking a lot, you're drooling, um, but you're also, some of the rooms get kind of, warm and so you're you're sweating or you're you're just um you get more dehydrated than you think and hotels are are kind of historically dry anyway um we try to bring something to snack on uh, but it's really hard because everything that's finger food type um is either messy in the hand or you know you don't want to chew on a bunch of nuts and then somebody comes up and you've got you know this mouthful of nuts um, so we do a lot of water, a lot of like carrot yeah, and sticks you, and cheese sticks. Usually there are water stations, so yes. you can refill your refillable bottle. Yes, um, those are great. So, but it's not uncommon to go through in one day, three, four, bottles five water. bottles of water. So, and, and I, I, we used to drink a lot of soda and coffee and we don't do that anymore. No. It's pretty much pure water. Yep. So. Uh, the other trick is um, we're 
after a hundred and some odd shows, we're, we're actually allowing ourselves to ask for some help. And so sometimes we'll actually ask a friend to go get us lunch if we don't have it packed with us. Um, I don't know why we were so unwilling to ask for help. I think we just don't want to bother people. Um, but uh, we had uh, some friends get us lunch, uh, and that was nice. So um, just try to, to eat. And, you know, sometimes if you're an attendee, it's nice to go and have lunch with a oh, new friend. Sit down. Sit, sit down. down. Do show and tell with whatever you just bought, and um, then go back in. All right. So. Next question. All right. What was your first fountain pen? Oh, I know this one. Go. All right, my very first, according to my cousin, I don't remember this, was my grandmother gave us matching Schaefer No Nonsense white fountain pens. Um, the first one. Still have it. The first one that I bought was an Eclipse overlay that actually was more broken than. Your first fountain fixed. pen was an Eclipse overlay. Yes. It was pretty. I didn't know anything. Leave me alone. What was yours? My first fountain pen. Oh, it's going to be like snobby or something. <laughs> no, it's right. not. Was a Venus autograph. Really, and I still have the pen. Um, striped plastic. Um, it's gorgeous, gorgeous pen. Red, okay. red, red and gray stripe. Do you want me to share the first fountain pen you gave me when we started dating? I already did it because you didn't think I was going <laughs> to. You didn't think I was going to do it. He sent me this teeny little wherever. Do you still have it? Yes. <laughs> pink. Right answer. I don't do pink. Yeah, it was everything you don't do. Everything I don't do. Yep. It was, oh, so that was that was cute. Yeah. Um, I'd gotten a cold, and he sent me a care package, and that was in there. So yeah. All right. Yeah, Auto Venus autograph, but then actually that. On my way home from the antique store, I was riding with it in the car, and the nib broke. <laughs> so the tine snapped off. So I had to go back to the antique store, and I asked to get the, 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 the owner of the, the space's phone number so I could call him and see if he had a replacement nib. I, I didn't know anything about it at the time. It was pens from the, the 40s. I actually did call him. We had a conversation about Parker 51s and this, that, and the other thing. But um, my first actual pen that I actually used that was usable was the Waterman Hemisphere. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's why I like them. All right. And last question. How can I determine which cartridges will fit in my pen? Uh, you know, that's really sadly complicated because a number of pen manufacturers um, use proprietary cartridges. Um, the Pretty Japanese. Much all the Japanese, yeah. Pilot uses only Pilot. Sailor uses only Sailor. Platinum uses only Platinum. Uh, a number of brands use the standard international, um, and I'm not going to remember all of these, but um, it's easy. Probably easier to name just the proprietary. Yeah, Sailor Platinum, Pilot, mm -hmm. Schaefer, mm -hmm. Cross, Cross. <sighs> Should I have written this down? <laughs> what else? We didn't know what the question was. I know. <laughs> um, if it's one of the Chinese knockoffs. Parker. Yeah, Parker's proprietary. Parker's proprietary. Um, we have a lot of people come up. They just bought some cheap pen at a show, and they're like, okay, I need a converter or a cartridge. Uh, generally, if it's one of the kind of no-name models, the no-brand, um, they'll usually take the standard international. Yeah. German pens typically Germans will use international. Except Lamy. Except for Lamy. Um, so so they're, unfortunately, uh, it's by brand. Uh, so just do a, a search on our site. And if you've got a Lamy pen, do a search for Lamy cartridges. Um, but uh, there, there is sadly no rhyme or reason. Um, a lot of, lot, lot of brands will take international. So if, yes. it, if it's a new, if it's a new brand, they probably take it because it's a lot of money to make a proprietary cartridge. Yes. So yes. All right. Other news: DC Pen Show recap. We got in Thursday night. Um, had dinner with luxury brands. Yep. That was fun. Uh, always great to see them. Um, you know, there was a lot of um, confusion last year at the DC show because it was a brand new hotel. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is that right before, um, I guess it was the night before or that morning, they switched some of the layout or the rooms or something. So there was a whole lot of confusion, which led to a lot of drama. Um, was it chaotic last year? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, this year, a complete 
non-issue. We got in Thursday night a little too late to unload into the room. Um, Friday morning, tables were, and even Thursday night, tables were already laid out. Um, we have five tables. It's very difficult to move that many tables in a row, so we're always in the same spot. We went right there, set up. It was, we got our packet the night before. It was incredibly organized. Yeah, it was well, it was well run, actually. Yeah, very a, well a run. A real non-issue. Bob was around if anybody had questions. Um, His helpers were great. Yeah. I mean, there was yeah. no complaints. Um, quite well attended, I would think. Um, I, thought, I thought Sunday was maybe a little lighter attended than, than last year. Um, we had our usual um, table helpers, Steph and Mike. And um, we will uh, post pictures of the now annual plaid. Annual, great. The great. mad for plaid. Great. Um, so the four of us were in matching plaid on Saturday, and that was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know that I'd wear it other than that. Yeah, probably not. But uh, it was cute. So. so, What else? We did um, dinner with Atoya on um, Saturday. Yep, yep. Saturday at the, actually, it's a kind of an annual thing. We go to the, the Peking Gourmet Inn. Um, and they do, I don't remember how many ducks they cook a night. It's like a lot. It's nuts. It's a lot. It is um, fascinating to watch them carve the duck. Uh, apparently that knife is incredibly sharp. I'm sure it is. Um, but just Real thin. great food, um, great company, always good to see them. Uh, Sneak peek and a couple of new things that are coming out from, exactly. uh, from Sailor. No, I'm not going to tell you. Don't ask. Um, but uh, that was good. And uh, no, that was that was Friday night. Oh, Friday night. Yeah, Sorry. Friday night. Saturday night was uh, was Joel's 80th birthday party. Joel, Joel Blumberg of Kenro. Kenro. Uh, and we went to Maggiano's. Yep. And they have a, they had a private room. Um, just a few retailers were there. Um, we carpooled. Uh, we drove and went with uh, Detlef and Cindy Bittner. Yep. And that's kind of our, our thing now. Um, whenever we have to go places. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, so we had a good time. No singing. I wanted to do like a carpool karaoke thing. But um, food was fantastic. We did not necessarily stick to our diet. But that it was, was close. It was not bad. Yep. It was not bad. So. Um, but just fun to uh, get together with a few other people and, and to uh, celebrate Joel's 80th, 80th birthday. He doesn't 80th look like he's birthday. 80. He doesn't look anything near no, 80. No, he's so. got a lot of energy. Um, we did get to see some new, some new pens that are coming out next month, though. Um, I'm just going to say Esterbrook, um, and they really look nice. They really, really look nice. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that. Those are coming out uh, probably in a month. So Kay. keep your eye out for that. That's it's going to be good. It's going to be really good. Okay. So, what excited else did about we that. See or pick up? Or um, well, I, I did manage to, to acquire one pen. Um, the yeah. price was right. Somebody um, gave Brian a pen. Well, and the funny thing is, is I restored this pen. <laughs> Years ago, okay. so uh, I know it works. Um, it is a, a red hard rubber buyer and haze um, And it's it's big. It's a big pen. It's uh, Probably about as big as they made them. I don't know that they made a number eight size, but this is a number six size uh, Marked nib. This is a New York company very cool almost Aiken Lambert type feed. It's very slim um, Z style clip it's got a tiny little crack in the cap, but otherwise it's really pretty perfect um, big orange pen looks like a big red, um, but it's really. Uh, I guess I officially have a Byron Hayes collection now because I think this makes my third. Okay. Uh, I might have a fourth, but I couldn't find it this morning. So, um, lever filler, uh, ready to go. I am going to ink it up. It's got a nice, uh, looks like a nice medium stub almost. Okay. Um, so we're going to ink that up today, and and no, I'm not putting lime in it. Um, so I did get a pen. We uh, we got popcorn from our fr the other Eric. Yep. And um, a big thanks, before we forget, awesome to Susan and Dave for helping set up. That was a huge yes, help. Yes, thank you. So thank yep. you. Um, now the we grid just... held together, so <laughs> <laughs> it was a little touch and go there for a moment. Um, but uh, we, should, we should do that more often. Yep, yep. That worked out well. So anybody yeah. going to San Fran? Jason. We're going to have Jason Oh, that's in San right. Fran. That'll be so. awesome. And then I stumbled across this, which is a cute little, cute little book. Cute little book here. I, I leave to, I don't know, go to the restroom or go see, oh, and we got David Oscarson chocolate again. We did, yeah. Um, that man is, I love him, but his chocolate are, is evil. These are cute little I, tiles. I come back to the table and Brian has this. 
These are just adorable. I just, I, I'm. Where are we going to put them? I don't know. I'm going to put them in my office. Hold them up higher. Um, and they all have a little, they're all some nice, nice paper. Textured paper. Um, there's a translation on the back. Okay. Persimmon. Uh, I was testing Stuff. Steph's ability to read Japanese. Uh, peach. Um, some of them, you know, some of them are, this one has a nice long. What's that say? Um, it says, after, after the, the first, first show of the snow, snow of the year, we will see the leaves. Of the Narcissus. Oh. Isn't that nice? That's so, cool. yeah, there's like 10 of these. They're real nice. There's one that actually is double-sided and doesn't have a translation on it. So, I really don't know. I don't know which, where is it? This, this one here. That's cool. Don't have a translation for that. That's one side and that's the other. Might have it up. No, I don't think I have it upside down. So anyway, it was real cute. Uh, I, I, I couldn't help myself. Um, so it's a non-pen thing and you see, you find that kind of stuff at pen shows. I couldn't help him either. I was gone. Yeah, then I got yelled cool. at for it. So, uh, anyway. Not too bad. Um, no, fine. but uh, DC pen show was good. Uh, a lot of people, I did not see all of the, all of the tables. It was, you know, but uh, it was busy and hopping most of the time, so. Which is good. Uh, always good to go. And then we realized that in two weeks we will be on the road to San Francisco. San Francisco. And I'm looking forward to this. San Fran I, I like San Francisco despite the long drive. Um, we get to see our good friend uh, Jason Forbes is going to be at the table with us. Awesome. Uh, Steph is actually going to be in San Francisco, nice. fingers crossed. So uh, we'll have the usual gang uh, there. We have the nice window. We have the best spot in the room. Um, window tables. Oh, uh, us and Detlef. Right. But uh, we're up against these floor-to-ceiling windows, and so you get some great light, um, which is always nice in a ballroom. Usually you yep. have no idea what the weather is like, whether it's even night or day half the time. So just to get some natural light just makes me happy. Um, and uh, it's, it's a good show. It's well-organized. Um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll, we'll talk more about it next week, but we're going to have a little something special there. So if you weren't that, uh, that will not be on the website. So if you are going to be at the show, we will. We will have a certain okay. something oh, special. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, that will not be available on the website. It'll only be available online or at shows or in our store. Yes. So um, you'll That's want you want cool. you want to stay tuned for that. That's going to be awesome. A um, little something special, and it might be Japanese. Anyway. Um, that's it. I think that's it for this week. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Did we talk about paper? We did. Paper and pen shows. of logic. There you yes, go. Um, follow the blog for news, ink reviews, pen show information, and uh, all sorts of other stuff. And check us out on social media as Anderson Pets. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.